did Silvana back again, and it's time for more. Phoenix Wright is turning. So we're going to start with episode two, day two, try. I don't know what it is about this game, but I am really liking it. So hopefully you guys are too. Um, court is now in session. Okay, now the commercials and stuff for this game are okay, commercials. The art and stuff I've seen for this game, I recognize this dude. Is he in other episodes? Alright, so we're. Oh, more stuff about Miles. Give the court your opening statement. She was at the scene of the crime. She has evidence and a witness. Prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case. All right, who are we calling first? Uh, detect the detective. Okay. This seems courtroom speaking a good place to start with. State your name. Ridiculous. <laughs> um, if I never said both dick and gumshoe are slang terms for detectives in America, um, if you're young or from another country, oh, even if you're my age, you might not be aware of that they may call them something else in your area of the United States. Um, the detective in charge of homicides. Describe the details very well. Let me use the floor map of the office to explain. Okay, we're going to get a map. All right, body was there by the window. Loss of blood due obstructive block force. Was right next to the body. Yep. Um, heavy enough. What's it made out of? Titanium? That was gold? Gold's a very heavy metal. Four plans. Now, detective. Yeah. You immediately arrested Mia. Can you tell me why? I had hard evidence she did it. What is the hard evidence? Is it the paper? Because that paper is not hard evidence. Let's just be honest with that. Let's find out. Testimony. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya, and the lawyer. I immediately arrested Miss Maya. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw this man at the very moment of the murder. Um, the very moment you say it very well. Miss Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that terror. Whoosh, man. Again, throwing stuff in court, no. This, oh, yeah, she's psychic. I was going to say, does she read my mind? <laughs> Derf. When my sister couldn't find any contradiction, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong, which is what we did last time. It worked a lot of times. <laughs> I should have accept, expected me a sister would know some of the tricks. All right, let's get it. Well, we did this the first time. It is just question everything they said for more information. I don't think he's our problem. I think he's pretty solid. I think our problem is the witness. As soon as the phone call came, I rushed to the scene. So we want to press get more information for everything. Who did you say you've got a call from? 
don't play dumb. You know who. See, again, wouldn't happen in your world or life. Calls from a customer at the hotel, right across from the park, green, right, and see. Mm, okay, I've pressed. Not sure it did much, though. Right. Please continue. He should actually give a name there. But again, I'm not speaking too much of this, I'm sure. There were two people there already. We were questioning everything. How long would it say it took between your receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Hmm, right, I'd say about three minutes. That's fast. Our motto this month, um, if anybody works in the police department, want to tell me if that's an accurate thing? That's how I got there before the killer got away, indeed. Um, I'm fine with the scene. Yes, sir. The defendant, Miss Mayor, and the lawyer, Phoenix Wright. Well, we said we're questioning everything, so let's question everything. Look, why am I asking? Are you absolutely sure with us? <laughs> with our funky hip clothes and your spiky hair, you just send out like a like suspicious people out of currency. Well, he does want to point out her. She is pretty interesting for life. She okay. No, I do you, Okay, first of all, what is this bar? And do you get any kind of into any kind of trouble for asking? for just asking for further information. Why is that? What's your reason? Yeah, that's what we were saying, right? Why we had a witness account describing her. We want more information on that, right? Hold on, just one second. Ooh. Yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say that. You said it. Oh! <laughs> now, <laughs> okay, the prosecutors at least are being honest, you know. Exactly what about this suspicious woman and Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't pink, pal. Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough. Do you have any more solid proof? Um, I guess pressing has its advantages. Yes. Okay, what? what? Uh, sorry, I got mixed. There was something I should have told you about first. Very well. Let's hear your testimony. So, again, question everything. I don't like doing it. It does take a lot of time. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim. On, on it, the word Maya was clu written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood test was the victim's. That doesn't mean she wrote it though. Also, there was blood on the victim's finger. Now that's before she died. The victim wrote the killer's name. We can't say that to be certain. She wrote a name, but not necessarily the killer's name. And even though it's her blood type and there's blood on her finger, it's still doesn't guarantee that she wrote the name. Uh, he has a question for the detective? That does really happen in court sometimes. Not often. Why didn't you testify about that information the first time? Uh, I forgot. And he's a detective. This the, 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 Cops go to court all the time. All right, here we go. We're gonna question everything again. Still wish we could make that go a little faster. After securing the suspect, I examined the crime scene with my own eyes. I don't think we need to actually question this. 
I found a memo. Let's question it on a memo. Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. Then who did write it? Uh, the killer? Sure, the killer. You're saying the killer wrote her own name? No, I'm saying the killer is someone else. Now nah, he should. Yes, he should object that. He should definitely object that. I mean, it's doing my job to put doubt in the jury's mind on it. The word Meyer was clearly written in blood. Now, we don't have to question. Well, let's question that to see if there was a blood test that it was the victim's blood. Do, uh, he's going to say the finger. That test result showed the blood was the victim. Okay, we're, we're going to go ahead and let that go. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Um, I wonder which hand was the bloody finger. The right. She was right hand. Most people are. But that still doesn't... Um... We don't know... Okay, we, we know... We question that. We want to question the... I didn't mean to... I meant to try and get it to type faster. This. We want to question this. Um, do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Sure, it happened. Um, books, it, movies isn't his career. There. That's what we want. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down the name, especially the name of her own sister? You got a point. Uh, now he's going to object me. I don't know all my grounds. Stop right there. The witness opinion on the matter is irrelevant. Um, no, I think it's relevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. Yeah, but that doesn't... That doesn't know those two... <laughs> Uh, or I'll have a cheeseburger. <laughs> Alright. I still haven't found the contradiction. Well, um, we question everything, didn't we? There has to be. Then we questioned everything though. We're gonna question through it again. Yeah, we've already done this. Um can we like tap back? No. That's, that's a no. <laughs> um, what, let, let's go a different one. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, 
um, on it may have was written. We've questioned that. Black test. We didn't really question this. Should we question that? Maybe we get the lab test? What kind of tests were these, huh? What kind? Um, little bits of blood, the uh, hemoglobin. Goblins? <laughs> the hemoglobins. <laughs> Sorry. All right. That that makes sense. That where was I? I don't know. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Maybe we pushed this again if it was tested. Nope, it's just going to ask about what happened. I don't know what I'm overlooking. <sighs> okay, um... I'm going to fast forward this until I find the answer. I'm going to go through all three of these. There's nothing. Oh, okay. No. Okay, I didn't find anything, so I'm looking through my... Um, 
evidence to see if maybe... Okay, let's... Present this to that, right? Okay, whoops. Oh, oh, okay. Well, now we know what the bar is for. If you guess something wrong. Alright, so presenting something is the right answer. But what is the question? Alright, so let's do um, a quick save here. So that if I screw the pooch and do this wrong, we can now maybe the 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 receipt. Nope, not that. Okay, we have the wrong place or the wrong item. Victim for blood of finger. Wrote the victim's name. Oh. So definitely we're supposed to. present something, but what and where? I don't know. Um, oh! The death was instantaneous. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Well, presenting evidence is definitely the correct thing to do. Immediate deaths due to blow with a blunt object. Yeah, so we just had the wrong yeah. Evidence. We we have the right idea, just the wrong thing. So, yay on us. Okay, so that fault fixes that problem. Someone who died immediately can't run anything down. Now he's gonna object. I don't know what. When did we get this? The day of the murder or the day after the autopsy report? When did he give it to us? I don't... <clears throat> can we look? Looks like we can look. Nope, it'll tell us when she was killed. Our profile? Our. Well, that didn't help. Um, I don't remember. When did we get it? I didn't know that was going to be a question. Uh, uh, the day after, wasn't it? When we went and talked to the... Yeah, what, what's the point? Outdated? Is 
that. That skull. That seems suspicious as all hell. I want to say he's a sham. I've saved it. We can go back if I'm completely up this. Oops! <laughs> nice. Maybe I called it the right way? Because I am casting doubt on his testimony. Okay. New autopsy report. That seems very suspicious. I don't say that that's an obvious conclusion, but I mean... Next witness, okay. Okay, here goes our lady in purple. Now, I illegally searched and seized the evidence of the tap. So, is that going to be a visible? It would be. Okay, fan service much? I'm just saying. Oh, uh, oh dear lord, look, <laughs> uh, can we please? Checked in after lunch, across the street. Uh, that's right. Testify. Okay, I'm not paying attention until we actually guess. Here we go. Testimony. It was like 9 o'clock at night. I looked out the window and then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up and, and she hit her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. Part of this, is, I feel, is... down for fan service with the next person. I don't mind it, but <laughs> unexpected. Uh, unexpected. I get the cross. No. How is that cowardly? Yes, I'm cross-examining this witness. I'm cross-examining every freaking witness. <laughs> All right, here we go. Again, we're going to question everything. What? <laughs> no more messing around. All right. Here we go. It was like 9 at night. I looked out my window, you know. We're going to question why. Huh? Why? Like, why what? Why'd you look out the window? Oh, well, um, G. Uh, 
I, I sort of, you know, hello, jiggle physics. I have a feeling. No, this is a little harder because she's got something. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. I am not battering your witness. Oh dear Christ. Can we please just not A woman with long hair being attacked. The mousy girl. I don't necessarily call her mousy, but okay. I just know. I no idea. Sure. Then the woman might dodge to one side. Um, she dodged. Dodge what? Well, the attack. Please continue. What? Wait. What attack? But that girl. She got up to her and she hit her. Right now, we're just gonna question. How did you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I. Gee. First of all. She had a girl who was weak and, and she was small. Who else could it be? She has a point. I'm gonna let this go again. Hmm. Okay, so what do we have? The autopsy, the phone, glass, the wiretap, picture, should we be? Um, do something about the broken thing. Yeah, let's, um, let's back up a statement. Like, right here, and present that. Either well, I'm glad I stick on it. Okay, so that's where I am not the right place. saved.
because I don't know. The wiretap or the phone net is the only thing I can think of. Because I don't think it would be the lettering. But we might have to redo this back from the save. But we know things are. Nope. Okay. That's a game over? Yeah, that's game over. Okay, let's go back to our load. Right, we don't need to question any of her testimony unless we want to push for some of it. <laughs> the fan service, though, man, it's still killing me. Oh. I'm not quite sure what we need to do to get this to go right. I believe if you have the right piece of evidence. You can do it anywhere in the testimony. I want to push her, but maybe not on the same question. Because it looks like you can get reprimanded once. And not have a problem with the pushing the, you know, badgering. So, I need to see where I want to badger this at. Okay. We don't need to question everything, but we do want to push somewhere. I want to push on the Dodge, I think. This. I want to push on this. She dodged what? The attack? Well, I can't. So, let's question this. saw something. We saw her, but I think she's lying. So we'll push it here. What's that face? Yeah, you would notice. I saw her, yeah. And so did the detective. 
Wow. Jiggle physics. <laughs> I promise I'll be a good girl. Oh, I'm too kinky of a thing to be playing stuff like this. Okay, now we're gonna go reread through everything, see what changes, and that's what what changes is what we're gonna press. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And then she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. That that clock, um, that kind of statue clock, the theater, I think. Well, how would she see that from that far away? Okay. Okay. There's some fishiness with this. Okay. A, a couple different spots of this. That are kind of fishy. She to the right. Uh, to uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and question that because we know the lamp that's to the left of that window was no. I I, I want. I'm asking that for a reason. Then the girl in the big clothes ran after her. We're gonna let that alone. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it, I did. That, that, now we want to question this. How would she see... Yes, I, I think we need to push the clock. Can we press on that? It's not a clock anymore. No, I can't press on it, but can I Can I present the clock? Because uh, didn't she say she unclocked it? Oh. Yeah, see, first of all, she wouldn't know it was a clock, and second of all, Mia said she had unclocked it. Oh, what's your issue, Edgeworth? No, 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 no. No. No, I won't. Answer the question. How did you know it was a clock? I heard it. I heard it say the time from. No. You heard the clock from your hook. I don't think that. I don't think it's that loud. No, 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 no. Both of these are accurate. Um, <laughs> God, I should have saved. Can I save right now before I do this? This says I have options. All right, we're going to save right here before I do this. Um, I don't classify this as save stating, so um, 
it couldn't have run. It's empty. Yeah. It's empty. See, so how'd she know it was a clock? That it used to have been a clock. Playing this drunk would be kind of fun. Can we go to Tisquet? How? How? The the recording. Yes, yes I can. I can. I can, the recording. No, I can. I can totally prove this. The message. Present. Take a look at this. <laughs> this isn't my phone. This is the Phoenix cell phone. Am I going to get my buddy in trouble because I'm about to show? Oh, look at that face. Uh, I'm messing him up. Yeah, see. I feel a little bad for him. <laughs> See the conversation. All right, here we go. We've already read that, so we don't need to read that again. Well, before the witness even arrived at her hotel, right? So, boom. Well, 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 it's obvious I saw that clock before. Um, is she going to say a, 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 a store? No. <laughs> yes. The, the, he made, yeah, Larry made it. Yeah. Everything is sold in stores. So, Her heart emblem. Huge 
jiggle physics there. Can I say I think she looks hotter that way? <laughs> I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't like that face. I like the angry face. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Alright. She was not scary. <laughs> so the time I thought she was cute. Oh, that side view of her man. I do. You heard about it. Because the tap. Right? We want, we want to do the tap now. Fun is in our room. Although I'm not a detective, what, I, what I'm doing is searching people's room. I don't know. And why? Why? Can we can we can we ask that question at this point of why? Irrelevant? Um sure. I'm not question. Yeah. Yes, the message. You just listened to the message where she said it was. The fucking message, dear Christ. Give her. We're going to blow through that conversation. Get to the other side. Uh, did you tap the phone? Am I supposed to be afraid of her? Especially with that stance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we don't know. We don't think that she did it. Why the tap? Because we can't prove she did it. But we have the tap, so. Why were you tapping the phone? So do you have an opinion? What is this? Well, wait, I see, wait. Oh. Can we? Can we?
Killing happened at nine. Why? That's just when I was getting room service from that sweet belt. Room service? Ice coffee. It, how'd you look out the window then? I didn't say she was. No. Uh, uh, um, more safe malarkeys. <laughs> I'm not sure which way to go about this, so I'm going to say bait, call the bellboy. Why? save this so we'll say yes if we fail out again because this is running quite long we will split this into two parts right here Oh. Alright, we're going to question this dude. I'm the head boy. I received a call at 8 in the evening. She asked for iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 on the dot. I brought it to her at her request. And to yeah. Okay, we're gonna let's see here. Um why would you call it eight for room service at nine? I'm I'm just thinking in general. Uh Did, I don't think we need to question this, but I will anyway. What do you do? Why? Anything requested with me? I check guests in. I check them out. I clean rooms. I make beds. I see the room service. I check who's in personally. I believe I received a call at 8 in the evening, so we're just going to go ahead and just question uh, on all this. Are you sure it was Miss Me on the phone? Absolutely. How can you be certain? I checked Miss Bay personally. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. Then I saw them and eh, her. Uh, I think the them is for boobs. <laughs> she asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot. 
We'll, we'll just question that because that that's the part that seems kind of weird. On the dot, you say. Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on TV and wished to drink after she finished. Nine, the time of the murder. I brought it to her precisely at the request of time. Precisely at nine then? Well, that contradicts that she saw the murder at nine. Also, I, I just want a question, and I don't know how I would prove what I'm talking about. And you're sure it was, again, how come you're so very certain? Well, when she Yeah. Okay. No. There is something there because. No. No. I know what I want to protest. I don't know if it's going to let me. I don't, shut up. Now, shut up. I want to make the point that she couldn't have seen it at nine if she was standing outside the door getting her room service. That was objectionable. <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, I didn't ask. <laughs> That's great. You didn't ask. <laughs> you Withholding testimony? Ooh, well, that's a criminal charge <laughs> in real life. I don't think I've won. Because I haven't. She checked in with the dude. But you didn't. He's going to disagree. Mr. White. Oh, am I guessing who the killer was? Man with Miss, Miss Man.
Your Honor, as has been freely revealed, the stabbing victim's wrong, yet Miss May herself has an alibi for the time of the murder. But she says she saw the murder. I still want to question that. I still want the ability to question the thing about how did she see if she was getting her 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 room service. Court is adjourned. So this looks like a good place to save and quit for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, do all the do's. And as always, I hope you guys have a really great day.